Hello guys, welcome to the Fall 2024 Contracts Roundup, I guess. So I finished reading every series that I've needed to read for my Anycot contracts. And so I'm just making this general whole video talking about all the series that I've read and just very quickly going through each of them. And yeah, and if there are any series that I did not make a specific video about, then at least you know it. And all the reviews for this series, I'll have them in the description, it's all in the folder. You can find them yourself and you can read all of them. But basically, I'm just going to round up all the series I've read so that you can uh, see what I've read during this whole se season. So yeah, I'll be talking about each series chronologically. So the first series that I've read during this season is I Love Amy. So I will keep my thoughts on I Love Amy the same as they are still my thoughts on I Love Amy are still the same as when I first read it. And that is that it's one of the best Yuri series that I've ever read. I've not read a lot of Yuri series, honestly. But I Love Amy really plays around the past and the characters very well. And yeah, I think you can go watch the video to the, hear more about my specific thoughts on it. But I still think I Love Amy is one of the best Yuri series I've ever read feels like one of the most natural and it just has a lot of good parts about it that enhance it to the level which I think that is the top line for what a Yuri series is and that's why I love Amy so much. <laughs> okay that was a bit weird, uh, sorry about that. Anyway the next series is uh, Sword She's Child. Uh, Sword She's Child specifically one of the one of the if not the most beautiful series aesthetically just in terms of like raw art that I've ever read. I think it is still plagued by the same issues that I've talked about in the video in that I think that the way they do fragmented flashbacks makes the series very hard to follow, especially when you have so many characters with past that all add up into the main plot. It gets too confusing. I would say it's worth reading just for how beautiful the series is, but I would say that it has a lot of shoes there are a lot of gaps that it needs to fill when it comes back in the second season for me to truly enjoy the series because I think right now there's just too many gaps in the series that I can't fully understand the series and enjoy it as much as I would like it. But it's still worth reading for the art and that's why I think Sword She's Child is about. Next up is Demi-chan. And Demi-chan is kind of your typical slice of life, cute girls doing cute girl things. and. I don't think I have any strong thoughts on it. I do have the part about metaphysics, which I don't like that much. But I think in general, it's still a relatively good series. It's not bad by any standards, but it doesn't have anything that stands out a lot that makes me want to recommend it super hard. It's a good series. If you are a physics nerd, you can read this series. And if you like cute girls and you like metaphysics, then you should read this series. But to me, I think that there are enjoyable parts and the metaphysics kind of takes away from it for me. So I didn't personally enjoy it that much, but it's not a bad series. So if you want to read it, you can read it. Next up is Triple F Class Bad, uh, Triple F Class Trash Hero. Uh, it's supposed to be a bad series. I think that towards the later half, it does end up becoming a bad series. I think it's still interesting to read like the first 50 chapters maybe, because it is quite an interesting series. I think the idea of it was interesting and the way that is that original part is written is interesting. If you're looking for any character development, any story basically the only thing that develops in this story is plot. So if you are hoping for any character development or any like special fantasy stuff, no, it's kind of a brain dead series that you just turn off your mind and read. So I wouldn't really recommend it unless you're really bored, but I think there are a lot of other things that are worth reading if you're bored. So yeah. Next up is Hoseki no Kuni. So Hoseki no Kuni, very religion based. I think, like I said before, it feels more than a manga. It feels like it's more than a manga to me. And I think there's still a lot I've yet to uncover. I think it's a abyss of stuff that I can keep going into and learning more about. Hoseki no Kuni, just a really well written series, focusing on force really well and just creating this whole timeline and journey of force that just makes the series amazing. Talks about humanity very well, very thought provoking, and it's just really good. Next up is Hirayasumi. Hirayasumi, super slice of life, hyper realistic slice of life, in fact. Very good for if you feel like you are a bit down in the dumps 
a kind of series that's just very wholesome, helps you get up on your feet, helps you become a better person. The kind of series I enjoy because it just helps me become a better person. And if you just want something very relaxing that can also feel like, makes you feel like you're not wasting your time completely, Here Is Me is a good series to read. I specifically don't like the romance in it that much, but it is still a really good series, wholesome series, very chill series. So if you want, I think it's more suited for people in the young adult to, in the young adult age group. So yeah, specifically for young adults, I think it has the greatest impact. But I think in general, it's still a very wholesome and a very good series to help with building character. And it's just very light and easy to read. Basically, it's very wholesome. Next up is Spirit Circle. Spirit Circle is the only series which I did not make a specific video on because I didn't know what to talk about. But Spirit Circle is basically a series about reincarnation. Basically, if it's the idea of reincarnation and spatial planes. It's a very nerdy series, technically. And I think if you care about stuff like character growth and such, it's not the kind of series for you. It's a relatively short series that mainly focuses on the main story of the series. And the characters are kind of there for the sake of being there. And the thing is that Spirit Circle it's a bit confusing because you have main characters, but each your main characters have like different versions of themselves, which are basically the same, but they are not the same person. And in general, I would say Spirit Circle is a very interesting take on reincarnation and having multiple series storylines in a single series. It's a very interesting and novel series. Basically for Spirit Circle, while I think that the storyline and the plot is really good, the thing that is lacking a lot of in terms of storytelling is making use of the characters very well. I feel like a lot of the characters in the series are not fully utilized as well as they are, and you don't really see any growth because a lot of this series is based on the past, so you don't really get any growth in the present. It's just the kind of series it is, so I can't really fault it for that, but also like I feel like there are potential ways to make it better, but yeah it's a very hard series for me to talk about but it is still a relatively interesting series i think there's one specific part of it that i hate towards the ending which is uh kind of like a deus ex machina kind of thing it's not exactly deus ex machina but it's like higher level being stuff which i don't really enjoy a lot and it is a bit complicated towards the end especially when you get a lot of information and you have to piece it together yourself because the series doesn't really piece together stuff for you perfectly. It still leaves a lot of room for you to think about, but enough for you to understand the story, even if you don't fully understand it. So it's still a really good series. It plays around uh, storylines and parallelity really well, but lacks a lot in character stuff and just that specific one thing that I disliked about the series. But still, relatively thought-provoking series. It makes you think a bit, and it's quite good. And last but not least, we have Pluto. Talked about Pluto, I think I really love the idea behind Pluto. And it's also a really well-written series besides that. So if you just want a really good story, I think the main, the one word that I can use to sum up Pluto is emotions. Pluto is a series full of emotions and is based off the idea of robots. And it's quite contradictory to have robots and emotion, but that's what makes this series so good. I really like that how the series is written and why and how the characters are all robots and it's just a super well written series i think i just feel like there were certain parts of it that felt like didn't make too much sense i think mostly around the persia stuff which i didn't like too much but in general the whole series is really good leaves a lot of space for you to think and be outside of the series as well gives you a lot of ideas to think about also a very thought-provoking series, and it's just very well written for a story, so if you haven't read Pluto, you can read it. I think out of all the series I've read this season, I would recommend I Love Amy um, if you enjoy Yuri a lot. Sword She's Child is just a very good series to like, if you like art, it's just a very beautiful series to read. Hoseki no Kuni I think is a series that you know it to read now, but I think at a certain point in time, you want to read it. Pluto is really good in terms of storytelling and just ideas, very thought-provoking. And Hira Yasumi is just a very, is the most wholesome one. I think if you just want something wholesome, Hira Yasumi is really good. 
And Spirit Circle, I'll also recommend, but I think it's more niche because it's quite a weird series in terms of it's not as normal as you think it is, but it has a lot of ideas that are made use of really well that make it a very novel and interesting series. But I think that in this entire season, there were a lot of really good series, but I think I made a very major mistake when I was reading all these series, and that is that I finished reading Hoseki no Kuni, Spirit Circle, Hirayasumi, and Pluto within a week. And the thing is that if you were going to read these four series, try to space them apart straight up, because I think all four of these series are series that require time for you to think about and let the whole series sink in to your mind. It's not series, it's, they are not series that you can read back to back to back to back. Each of them on their own are very complex and extremely well-written series that I think you should take time to slowly read, slowly take in, and slowly absorb everything you can from the series. If you were going to read anything after reading any of these four series, just read some brain-dead entertainment stuff that doesn't make you think, because these series will weigh on your mind a lot. All these series, I can still think about very clearly like specific points, specific themes, and because they're all so profound and so heavy that honestly my head is kind of exploding. And the truth is that I should have never ever read these four in a row. And that was the greatest mistake that I could ever do. And it's really terrible because I can't go back to read them anymore because I can't read them anytime soon again because they are, my mind is still honestly quite boggled from reading these four back to back to back. But just to say, if you were ever <laughs> going to read any of these four series, give yourself some buffer time between reading each of them because you need some time to let the whole series sink in because these series are all very thought provoking, very, Stuff that makes you think, stuff that makes you grow. So you have to let time sink in. So don't be like me. Don't read them all at once. And besides that, this series honestly had some of the best series that I've ever read in quite a while. I gave out on average, I, half of the series got above a 9, which is extremely high. I gave two series a 10. So these series are all really good in their own respect. I think they're all, they all have their own merits to being read. But yeah. I made a mistake with the, the final four. But anyway, that's it for this roundup. I will probably not see, you'll probably not see me again for like a month or two because contracts will not end until December. And I'm not entirely sure if I'll do anything. I don't really want to spend too much time making manga review videos because I don't actually read that much nowadays as well. So I need to focus on other stuff. So until then, the next season, uh, you probably won't see me on this channel. But if anything does come up, I'll make a video on it. But until then, I'll see you guys again next time. Goodbye.